Welcome back, City Skylines players and fans to Capital City. This is Gomer with Gomer Games. Alright, uh, this is Stadium Detailing Part 2. Uh, last video, we kind of detailed most of this area through here. I did a little bit off camera. Um, some of these curves and stuff I put in off camera. Uh, just because it's kind of the same repetitive stuff over and over again. So. Uh, if you guys watch my videos, you've seen me do that dozens of times. So, um, so I did a lot of that off camera. Today, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to finish this area over here, put in some more uh, uh, greenery and bushes, trees, greenery, and everything right through here uh, around the stairs. And then uh, we got a couple uh, statues and stuff I think we're going to put up front. Uh, I think that'll be about it for this video here. Uh, this is the first video after the update. Uh, so we, uh, we're having some issues with getting things to load. Um, turn the resolution down a little bit there. Probably not that far down, but uh, we're having some problems with things uh, loading. Uh, so uh, I think we've got that fixed, uh, hopefully. Yeah, it appears to be working all right. So we'll crank that, uh, get rid of that resolution there. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. So this area through here, we're going to put in some greenery. Uh, we're going to do a fire station in here. Uh, maybe some uh, light commercial through here with some more additional parking. And then uh, I've got a little something. I've never uh, done this before. I've got a little something planned for this area right in here. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to do that. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, put in uh, the fire station and put in the uh, road for this additional parking. Uh, what I'm thinking this parking would be, it looks like in the stadium here, there's doors there and there's doors there. Um, I know there's doors there because there's a walkway right here in those doors and go right up that walkway to this uh, second story here. Um, so what I'm thinking is uh, we're going to have like accessible parking. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, some uh, handicap parking and everything will be the majority of this lot here. So you would have like a lot that would be dedicated to that real close to the building. So that way people wouldn't have to walk that far if they're um, you know, on crutches or chairs or something like that uh, they wouldn't have to go very far but uh, first thing we're going to build we're going to build the fire station first so let's go ahead and get uh, get on that and I'm thinking uh, because of this area here um, we have a fire station um, over here on the other side of the avenue here uh, we have a fire station and a police station right here uh, for all these casinos and everything, and then we do have a uh, police station right here um, That I built next to the hotel and the, on the other end of the mall there So what I'm thinking is that uh, we need a fairly large fire station on this side for uh, these hotels and obviously the small and the large stadium and uh, The casinos and everything over here and this gigantic mall. We have the museum and the uh, uh, Opera House, uh, the aquarium, a bunch of stuff over here. So I'm thinking that you need fairly a, lar a fairly large fire station to handle all that because um, these are pretty large buildings. So we're going to use one of the uh, larger uh, fire stations to uh, put in this area here. Um, grab a plain road here, and I think I'm just going to use we'll just use this node. And uh, yeah, go ten, and uh, the parking up there, and then we're going to need a large fire station. Some of these trees. I think 
get rid of this uh, sewing adjuster. I'm not quite sure. First of all, I'm not quite sure why that. I'm not quite sure why that zoning adjuster keeps wandering around the screen all the time. Um, but every two or three times I load it, there's it, different locations and I can move it. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get back to the trees here and move these trees. I'm just going to move them closer to this bridge here because um, we need as much room as we can. And then we can always move them back if we need uh, we need to fill it in to make it look correct. So I'm thinking that, and then maybe put that right there. And then pull this over a little bit of discoloration there. Um, and then maybe move this. That looks pretty natural there. Uh, so fire stations, uh, what are we going to use here? Um, I think we're going to use... Um, and I said that this one's too small. Yeah, what is this, the fire headquarters? No, just a regular fire station. See, this is just a regular firehouse. This is a little guy. Yeah, I think we're going to use this one. This is out of the, uh, yeah, this is out of the Promenade and Pedestrian Plaza. The Plaza Promenade uh, DLC. But I like this fire station. It's, it's quite large. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Thinking, uh, right like that. Make sure all the trees are where they're supposed to be. None of them are on the concrete. I think that looks good there. I am going to pull this back just a little bit. to have some of these trees touching just as long as they're not on concrete. Okay. And because uh, I want to give enough room for the fire engines to kind of maneuver in here. Uh, Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to decorate this a little bit. Um, let's see. Does that match pretty good? Um, I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Seems to be, yeah, the height seems to have changed a little bit. I can tell. And interesting, what are we going on here? some clipping going on there for some reason. That's interesting. There, that fit 
fixed it. Okay. And uh, I'll take those markings out of there. Um, and then I'm thinking, uh, do we need to maybe pull these over a little bit? Your intersection for the fire engines and stuff. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then uh, while we're doing it, we'll go ahead and put the markings in um, for the crossings. Uh, I like doing these out of the intersection marking tool because I think they're crisper and they look they look a lot nicer than the vanilla ones. Um, there, I think that just looks uh, that looks very nice like that. So I think we're going to do that, and then uh, we'll go ahead and put in some parking here. Um, boy, there's still a huge gap there. Um, we'll fix that here in a minute. Uh, I think we're going to use probably uh, what is that four. Because um, we're going to move these to right to the edge. Should fix the height problem there. Yeah, good deal. And then uh, I think we're going to add some curbs in. There's dumpsters back there now that will cut out there, so we don't want to take it all the way back to cover up that access. And then we'll use a large oval here. another large oval here perfect and then uh, we'll go ahead and move these two in here the same distance on both sides there. Make sure that doesn't go back too far, which it does not, it's fine. And then what I'm thinking is we need uh, some smaller little grass areas here in between the doors, but not enough to create any sort of huge barriers, but just enough to put something there. And I'm thinking uh, maybe we'll do some flowers. Now I think we're going to do white, white flowers here. And uh, because of the building, it won't uh, won't let me go all the way over where I want, but what we're going to do, we're still going to go over as far as we can, and then place them on a horizontal, equally spaced, where we want them. 
even though they're not exactly where we put them. Uh, going up and down as the camera is viewed right now. Um, but by putting by doing that, you know that they're an exact straight line, which you can use move it nowadays, or uh, the other one, uh, multi tool. Uh, you can use that one too uh, to kind of straighten things up, but. That's just kind of an old school way of doing it, I guess. And then put that in there just like that. And then uh, I'll probably get, uh, I don't know what we're going to use for these. We're going to use bushes for this. So I'm thinking a uh, large bush, a large bush right there. And then uh, maybe a couple over here. And then switch to the smaller one. Voila, nice and simple. Um, but that looks great there. And then you can still get back there and uh, do the, uh, the whole uh, empty the trash thing there. Um, let's go ahead and add I'm trying to decide if I should add uh, uh, I think we're just going to do a large rectangle here. And the problem is when you're working with these curves, or a lot of objects are obviously, uh, when you get close to these uh, elevated rows or these embankments, uh, the ground starts to do some pretty funny stuff. Um, you'll see later on in this video, we're going to put some uh, green stuff in over by uh, where the walkways are, and uh, the one walkway and uh, the ground's kind of uneven around there, so it makes it kind of difficult, but you can work with it. You can get it to work. Uh, just got to play with it a little bit more, and uh, put some landscaping in and stuff to, uh, to hide it. Um, I think we'll do something like that. Try to center that. And then I'm thinking That works. And then, um, let's see, I'm thinking, um, a flag right there. I don't know how realistic that would be. I think I would think it would be down here, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I Maybe mean, even up here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I even like that. I'm not really happy with this flag. Anyway, because it, the flag's like full straight out, so as the wind's blowing, it might 
120 miles an hour or something like that constantly, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but anyway. Um, right, so I think that looks good there. Uh, we got a little bit of flowers and bushes there. Um, I think this needs a little something else. Uh, let's do... Let's do a small tree in here. Um, it's not small. I don't know. I think that looks alright. Um, and then I'm thinking maybe uh, we'll do... Some more curves over here on this side. Uh, drop this down just a little bit where we had eight meters. Let's drop it down to seven. Is that enough? That is enough. Just like that. Do you grab this last one here, just pull it in. Perfect. Grab a uh, <coughs> corner piece here. There, I think that works. A little bit of a walkway there, but not enough for cars to get through there. Um, yeah, I think that works. And then maybe we'll put some uh, blockers in there. Uh, Trying to set when we use planners. I forgot it resets to or use the last one that you used. So we'll do three meters. I think that's still 2.5. There, I think that works. It's a little bit different than the conventional one that we've used multiple times before, but I think that looks good there. 
Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let some small trees. together and we will go five meters that works we'll let in a little bit we'll let one in a little bit Make sure there's no room there for people to see. And then uh, we'll grab a couple other different trees here. Uh, yeah, that road. Uh, even though we're just building a uh, painted city, I still want the road to kind of look. Kind of be uh, real. Oh. Yeah, I really like that. Not too bad there. 15 minutes of work or so. Um, 20 minutes, give or take. Uh, but not too bad there. I think that looks pretty good there. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some parking in right here. Um, so I'm thinking uh, what we're going to do, um, is to, and I'm going to go ahead and use the regular squares and line this up just enough. Go and then line this up here. And obviously, we need to adjust this a little bit. We've got some clipping here, got a little bit of stuff there, so we'll get that taken care of. We actually may need to pull this out. Pull these out. down a little bit. And then grab this one here. This is what I was talking about a second ago about the clipping. Anytime you have anything elevated comes down you got a ground piece right here and then you have this as an elevated piece going into the stairwell um, and then obviously going up to the second story of the stadium here um, it creates some problems with some uh, with the land here so there's a little bit of a hump there uh, so it creates a little bit of problems when we're trying to place other things on there Yeah, there's no clipping there. It's pretty close. There's a little bit of detail there, but when you zoom out, you can't really tell. Not to mention, we'll put some landscaping on there. 
that would be better. Okay, so let's put the parking in, and then I just wanted to get a general idea of how that was going to look. I think we're going to run another strip this direction on the other side with a walkway in between. And then we'll put the parking on this, this side here. So uh, I wanted a general idea of how far the parking was going to go over. Um, so let's go back to parking there. So I'm thinking we probably need to go three tiles, four three tiles, and then two tiles for the last two on this side. So we'll go three tiles. Uh, that would be left. And then left. And then right. Yeah, I think that would be all right. Um, so I grab my grab a cop car there. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. <coughs> that'd be perfect there. Okay. So that work. And then yeah, we're gonna put handicap parking in here everywhere. Uh, which I guess we are painting the city, so I could probably just use these props. Uh, you wouldn't get anybody parking in them, uh, but by using these out of the parks uh, area, um, you would be able to get uh, people parking there. Um, so all these, uh, plus the new uh, parking, uh, the new parking lots, the update and everything, uh, are in the parks too. Those obviously work with. Uh, work with uh, the game so they would they would actually park so hey man, just use that there um, yeah I'm not a real big fan of that I don't like the bushes not to mention I don't like the accessible parking on this side and this side even though this is all going to be accessible parking it's not going to be in it. I put the decals in every uh, I think every uh, spot there um, I think we will put, go and put them in every every stall on this entire area here. Uh, so these are buildings. So I think I might do this. Right back. Maybe extremely close to the war road there. But we also want to leave a sidewalk on this main road. Yeah, that works. And then uh, there's going to be quite a bit of parking on this side. So we're going to use an eight um, right. Uh, but that's not lined up to this road. Well, what we can do there is we are going to have to move this road over. So this. Disable zoning, grab the regular. didn't do what I wanted it to do. But we should be able to just use the move it, put it snapping on, and we should be able to just snap this.
Which basically start all over again. Basically did the same thing, but I'm going to cheat a little bit and grab this note here, pull this note out. And I did see this, I want to change this, I did see this on, uh, on I want to change that to that. <coughs> like that okay so I think that looks uh, that gives us enough room here to do what I want to do. but it also makes the angle uh, a little bit more uh, yeah a little bit more tasteful so we can swallow a little bit more there okay so now that we don't have by doing that I had the uh, had the zoning uh, disabled there so now all the zoning is off of this road here so if we go back into parking, uh, and we want eight, we want eight bright, and then uh, eight right. Switch to left, left, <coughs> and then we we'll probably want to do like six left. Yeah, that works. And then probably like three right. Yeah. Because we need to get these. do is pull these closer to the road and we want to line the lines up. It's a little bit uh, more than enough room right there and then we'll have to put some curbs in here to do uh, all this but I think that works works perfectly there. So then we'll go ahead and uh, do the rest of this in concrete there. Takes care of that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get these fixed up now. Uh, go back to single. Uh, I think what we want to do is we want to leave a walkway in between here to go through here, but what we want to do is we want to even this up. a little better. Uh, obviously it's going to look a lot better with landscaping and everything on it. But uh, you do even this up. Again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 
So it does there's a little bit of a gap difference there. It's a little offset from the road, but that's okay because I want it lined up on here because that's where it's going to look more significant. This doesn't matter because um, we're adding more curves there in just a minute. Uh, so I think that works uh, perfectly there. So we're going to add some more curves. Uh, let's see here. There we go, that looks pretty good there. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe we'll add another curve right here to, just to make this even. Yeah, I think that looks better. I was gonna have these offset, uh, so why the crowd coming through here and the crowd coming through here mix, mix. Like larger walkway there, but I think that uh, I think that looks pretty good there. My problem is I'm not sure if that walkway, if the pathway is large enough. Um, so we may have to extend that over a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if that's tall enough. Um, it definitely is over here by the parking stalls, so uh, well, I guess what we'll do, we'll go ahead and move these over. Perfect is perfect can be. Uh, then we'll grab the medium ones. And then I don't know how realistic this would be to have this grass go under this path, but we're going to do it. Um, they would never be able to get to the grow under there. Uh, it would just be a muddy mess, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, so we'll do that, and then... Um, I think we'll add a 
curve going this way. Then I think I was going to fill this in, but because of that sign there, uh, now nah, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. I'm just going to put parking around, or uh, these curves around the edge of the building here. This thing's a lot more finicky since the update. I don't know if it has anything to do with my computer or whether the game's more finicky. I'm not sure. Now, I think we're going to add some trash cans and uh, maybe some benches um, in the area here, maybe. Um, it's kind of weird to have it out like that, but we can't have cars driving through there. So I'm thinking we'll do that, even though it's kind of weird. Uh, there's really no way to shape that in that manner. Um, well, unless we did. No, that's not going to work. That's uh, the only way to go here. Um, I think this is kind of weird. And I may change this, but that right there I think is what we're going to have to go with for now. And then I'm definitely thinking that uh, we would do walkway like that, or a uh, pathway like that, and then I'm thinking something corny like and obviously we'll put the inside curve in there so I think it looks a little bit more authentic that way um, yeah, I think that I like that. I am going to move this circle down just a little bit. So I think that sticks out just a little bit too far. It's not quite even with that, but it's pretty close. And it doesn't really have to be even, it just has to be fairly close. And then I'm thinking uh, we'll go ahead and use our traditional uh, concrete.
just to keep people out of there. And then just keep any boneheads out of there too, because you know there'd be some fool that try to get through there. See, they didn't get that fixed. Um, been doing that since promenades. down here. I may pull some more parking down this direction with decals um, and then just make this a single lane. I don't know. We'll see. But I think that looks uh, pretty good there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some bushes in and I think we're just going to use in parking lots you really wouldn't use trees too much because you want to cut the visibility, you want to make sure that there really wouldn't be that that much visibility and issues. Because you want people to be able to see the vehicles, to see people walking around the parking lot, um, that type of thing, just uh, to cut back on any sort of criminal activity or anything like that. Um, so you kind of would really wouldn't be that much. Large bush or large trees or anything like that. And uh, we'll fix this uh, later on. But uh, I'm thinking maybe here would just be maybe some uh, small bushes here. These look elevated, but they're not. Uh, they actually have these are actual bushes on trunks. Um, I usually go through later on um, off camera. I'll go through and drop them all down the ground because I think they look better on the ground. But they're actually supposed to be elevated because there was actually a trunk under there. And then this area here is a walkway, even though there would probably be. Uh, uh, limited visibility but they're still going to make some trees and everything here because that's kind of the whole point of this whole area if, if they didn't want trees in the area they would just concrete the whole thing over um, so they do want a few trees so I'm thinking uh, you know like a big tree there and maybe some smaller trees in this area here And then these uh, trees that are a little bit higher up, so people come on the ground can see underneath of them uh, into this pathway. I think that kind of works. And then uh, here you have uh, sort of the same thing. Um, so I'm thinking uh, maybe we'll put some larger trees in here. may have to plant this, uh, have to plop these down and then move them because of the ground. I 
if that spruces that up a little bit. I think it makes it look a, a lot better there. And then I'm thinking uh, just uh, one tree right here. That really looks good there. Uh, wow, we were at 55 minutes, so this is taking a little bit longer than what I was anticipating. So let's get to the uh, the main thing I was wanting to do right here. This uh, real building, this is a Tokyo Olympic Stadium, and this uh, little cutout here. There's actually an elevated walkway that walks from uh, that goes from this way to probably it connects to like a hotel or something, I think. Um, and uh, but what I thought. Pardon me, what I thought we could do is um, we could just add another stairwell um, to this, just like up front here. We'll just add uh, more stairways. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and I did kind of play with this a little bit, so I was able to get it to work. Um, so let's see here. What I had to do is I had to place the stairs and then uh, they won't shrink into the ground because they're a prop. So what I did was I grabbed them and turned it into a procedural object which allowed me to move it which you know I could have moved it with a prop anyway but allowed me to move it, but then I was able to position it and then drop it. I move it far enough out. Wanted it just on the edge here. And I want to bring it in to where that top part just looks like another step. It looks fine. There. Uh, and obviously, there's a barrier there, and there's an opening there, and there's no rails on this stair stairwell, so we're going to have to fix that. So we're going to go into edit. Uh, Procedure objects, uh, customization, and we're going to go through here and grab these, which is actually a right click. And you got to get right down on top of this thing. Just grab one of these and then just pull it over until it matches. And then, uh, and then close your procedural objects, and you're done. Now, we're painting this city, so obviously nobody's going to be using this. Um, actually, it looks like I moved it a little bit too far, but that's okay. Um, nobody's going to be using this. If you're wanting to do it in a, a working city, you would put an invisible path um, there. You would take a uh, one of your invisible footpaths and... Uh, Grab it, and you would connect. You'd connect one there, and here, and connect it up to the top. And then you'd have to run another out know, to the front doors. Uh, and then obviously, you know, this would be elevated there, so it looked like they were. You'd have to shrink it down to where it was just under the stairs. Uh, and, but we're just painting the city, so mainly what I need right now is I need to put rails on um, or walls or something. So we're going to use we're going to use walls, and I don't know if I like this texture or not. Let's see.
That's all right. So I do put this right here. Don't worry about that. Now uh, that's uh, uh, no, we're not gonna use this one. Uh, I use. this one better. Hopefully it will be tall enough. So I'm going to put that centered right there and then raise it up. And it is okay. So we want it at the same height as that wall there. Grab the center in. Pull it down to right there. How's that look? Yeah, this side needs to come down just a little bit. Perfect. This side needs to come up just a little bit. Yeah, I think I like it up like that better. Yeah. Let's look from this side. Good reason. It's a reason why you have to look at your builds from every angle because it looks right from one side, but then the other side it does not. And then we're just going to grab this, copy it, and put it right like that. The texture should be the same on both sides. It looks like it is. So how are we looking? Copy off. Pull that in just like that. Just fine. All right. Yeah, I kind of like that. So uh, let's proceed with the decorating here. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and um, put some more curves in. Um, sticking out like that. Uh, there. And then how's that look from that side? No gaps. Okay, looks fine. Uh, not perfect, but it's 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 good. Um, all right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and I'm thinking. I'm going to do some curves all the way around this side here. Something all the way down. Uh, 
this ramp all the way down. As you can see, I've already added a little bit of some bushes and stuff right there. doesn't bleed over it does not all right so that looks good so I think we'll add some trees and things there um, maybe even add a uh, unique to cover that up there we'll add maybe we'll do like uh, unique little cutouts in here every so often to have like little areas for benches and stuff like that and then have this last one and I'm not quite sure why this ramp is here right next to this entrance to this garage but um, I left a little walkway in there so I could get back uh, back here into this shipping area, uh, but also left the sidewalk open so people could walk around the sidewalk to this parking area too. Because I'm not sure, like, because that look, to me looks like it would be like a handicap ramp or something for wheelchairs and things like that. Because that's a long, gentle slope, um, or maybe it's for supplies or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, but either way, uh, I left it open uh, for both there. And then I was going to do something a little bit different here. Um, I'm going to leave a little gap there. And then I'm thinking put some more curves here. Here. And then my logic is here, even though I probably won't do this on camera, I think I want to run these two strips of parking stalls all the way down. So I think I want to put, I may pull these in and then I think I'll grab, yeah, I'll put some, uh, put these in here. like that and then I'll put the parking stalls on this side of this and then let's go ahead and pull these we'll move these in to allow a walkway in there And then what I was going to do was to go ahead and grab uh, a door. there over here yeah grab a door and I'm gonna put the door in right here because I'm thinking this would be kind of like a employee entrance It has 
that's not to interfere. You can't interfere with those windows. But it has to look pretty good. I think that looks uh, fairly good there. Put a trash can there and then maybe a couple benches along here. And then uh, um, we'll have a walkway. Obviously, in the parking lot before then. Um, actually, what we can do. No, there's not enough room there. We can undo this, then we will make sure that there's enough room there for a parking or for a walkway. And then we'll extend that over. Make sure that there's enough room for uh, sidewalk on that side. And then we'll have parking stalls go all the way down to the end there. And then there's a little drive aisle here. And uh, maybe even an entrance here. We'll have another, maybe we'll have another entrance there. Um, yeah, I think that looks good there. Alright, an hour and 12 minutes. Boy, I sure didn't get done what I wanted to get done. I wanted to put in some uh, uh, commercial right here. Uh, but I think we got quite a bit done. Um, uh, as you know, I don't do timelines. So I, I, I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, I like showing everybody uh, what I'm doing and at a uh, little speed. Um, but uh, I think that's I think that's about it for this one. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up. Uh, maybe put some uh, trees in here and some flowers. We're not so worried about visibility here because um, it's right next to the building, obviously. And we'll maybe do some bushes or trees in there. Uh, and maybe some uh, bushes on there. I think that looks uh, quite. Uh, quite nice. And then I will fill in all these stalls, or at least most of these stalls, especially the ones on this aisle here and this aisle here is all going to be, uh, they're all going to be handicapped. Um, and maybe even through here um, so to go in these doors here. Um, so that way that kind of offsets all this other parking out here. Uh, in there. But I think we, uh, we've made a lot of progress here. Uh, I may do a lot of this commercial because basically we're going to run another road through here, maybe put it in a small parking lot, and then uh, uh, probably three, two or three commercial buildings through here. Uh, we may actually use, I did get the shopping center uh, creator pack and the Africa uh, creator pack and the uh, sports arena, which wouldn't really apply to this commercial area here, but uh, I may use uh, some of those buildings out of uh, the shopping center. I may use one of those, uh, multiple ones of those buildings in this area there, but we'll see. Uh, but I think we've made uh, quite a bit of progress there. If you have any questions or uh, anything, uh, please uh, let me know. Any comments, please uh, leave those. And then uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, the uh, spaceman will pop up there. Just click on him, and we'll see you next time.